Here I am standing in complete control of the entire server, with my enemies running away thousands of blocks out of fear and everything being in the palm of my hands. But that's not really how it started. In fact, here I am being slapped around by everyone because they all believe me to be the server's biggest enemy, when in reality, that's far from the truth. And all of this started after we slammed the Ender Dragon and three legendary hearts on the SMP were now obtainable. Oh yeah, right, you probably don't know what that means. Let me explain. This is the Soulbound SMP. Peas, when you complete a specific task, you get a custom heart. And with two of the three legendary hearts being obtained right before my eyes, all that was left was the single best heart in the game the locked heart. With the power to lock your heart slots so you can never lose your hearts on death, it made whoever possessed it an unstoppable force. And that's exactly why we had to obtain it. We have to do it now. We have to get the locked heart. Me and another recently allied player named JR had our eyes on keeping this heart away from the other players who planned on using this to become infinitely powerful. But it is not an easy heart to get, requiring you to complete the how did we get here advancement, this was going to be a very tedious task, especially with another team attempting to steal it right out of our hands. So I started bluffing to the opposing team saying that we were already ahead in the advancement process. So that that they'd back down from attempting to get the heart for themselves. And the results were successful. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Okay, let's keep going. Let's, go. let's keep going. Let's keep going. I think we're chilling. JR decided he was the one who got the heart, as I already had two hearts, and it would not make sense for me to have more. Right? Never mind that. We then get on the process of getting all 27 status effects, and it starts with getting Bad Omen and Hero of the Village. Alright, let's get this started. That's it. Right over. All right, go back to the uh, the thingy. Let's go. Banner, um, banner, 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 banner. Banner, nice, nice, nice. Go, 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 go. Now that one of the hardest effects were out of the way, all we needed to do was go to an end city to get the levitation effect using shulkers. All right, what's your hunger looking like? What's your hunger looking like? Uh, down four. I'm down four. Once we set up at an end city, there was an overload of pressure. We only had enough items for a single attempt, and not only that, I was planning on swapping my hearts with JR to account for the necessary status effects. Only thing is, when a player picks up a heart they haven't used before, an advancement message is put in chat, which will notify the entire server and put the others going for the locked heart back on guard, meaning we only had one chance to do this scot-free. We need to do everything. swap hearts, swap hearts, swap hearts. Oh my god, there's so much going on. Okay, I, okay. I'm baiting it, I baited it, I baited it. I baited it, okay. I'm going for it. You missed, you know, stop, 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 you missed. What? What the- JR had just missed three different potions when using the dispenser, meaning we could not continue unless we had backups for the three effects we were down. What are you missing? What fire are you missing? Res, uh, f uh, fire res, um, um. Calm down, calm down, come on. We can save this, we can save this. Fire res, what else? Strength. Regen. Fire res, strength, and regen. Fire res, strength. Golden apple, there, on the ground, on the ground. Oh my god, okay. We were back in the race. All we had to do was make sure everything went right. Put yourself in a box, in a box. I'm getting, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. You have to jump in the way of these. You have to jump in the way of these. Okay, okay, hold on. Come towards me, come towards me, come towards me. Jump in the way, jump in the way. I just got hit by, by him. Go to him, go to him, go to him. Wither Rose, I need the Wither Rose, the Wither. I ran out, no more Of what? No more poison, no more nausea. We failed. And now that we have Gemplex and the others who didn't want us to get this heart on our tail, it made the process all the more intense. After getting out of the end, JR had to re-up on materials, so I sat in anxiety, hoping that no one would interfere. I can't do this, man. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. It's literally just a scheme to bring anxiety. And they're saying, yes, we brought it into the overworld because they want us to think they're not in the end. Because we knew they were bluffing in chat to mock us, there was a high chance that the end was trapped. So after getting all the materials we needed, one of us had to bite the bullet and bait the trap in the end. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. It is what it is. What happens, happens. And we're going to see what's on the other side. I'm going to go in. Three, two, one. Yep, it's a trap. TNT as well. I'm alive. You landed, you landed. Nice, nice. JR XD.
<laughs> it was a trap, but JR had luckily escaped with his life. There was no way I was going to let them play us like that, so I went back to spawn to regear with JR, and I just so happened to see Jemplik standing at world spawn holding out a bow. Yeah, he's like, he's like standing here. I don't think he sees me. What kind of hearts does he have? He has nothing. Something didn't feel right, so I made an attempt to go back through the nether, but I was then engaged in a 2v1 against the Big Burger faction. I killed Llama. He dropped Dragonheart. Holy shit! I just obtained one of the best hearts in the game, which gives its user a bunch of overpowered abilities. After killing Llama, JR made his way back with gear to help turn the tides and make it a 1v2. Into the water again? Have you not learned your lesson? Which led us to winning the fight and setting them back far enough to give us time to go for another attempt to obtain the locked heart. What? I'm levitating. Come on. Bruh. But once again, we failed. Forgetting two of the last status effects, I was too tired to continue. We had to put up a front saying that we already got in the heart and our enemies just so happened to buy it. But I then ended up in a call with players who I wasn't exactly on the best of terms with. In this call, they mentioned how obscenely overpowered the locked heart was and that it would be best to make sure that the item was destroyed. Although they are my enemies, I too believed that the locked heart was too powerful of an item for anyone to possess. Jared told me he had different intentions with the heart. Why worry about anything else when you can have one thing forever? And I knew I had to do something about it, even if it costs my alliance. Okay, so what are we doing exactly? Jumplex, take it as you will, but I lied to you. Okay, about what? The locked heart is still obtainable right now. <laughs> I knew it. Oh my God. JR and I failed multiple times. And then I started to realize that although we may be disagreeing on a lot of things, we have the same motive of not wanting the server to be ran by someone who cannot lose their heart. Yeah. I told Jemplex to unlock the heart while I stalled JR from unlocking it for himself, but only under the condition that the heart was to be voided and never in the hands of any player ever. Now it isn't entirely wise to betray your own teammate, but in order to keep the server at peace, it was more than necessary. Yes! Yes! <gasps> Holy sh**. We are gathered here today to officially void the locked heart. Bro, got a whole ceremony going on for <laughs> Shut <real>. the fuck. <laughs> we can't let this fall into the wrong hands. Goodbye. Let that bitch go. Now that it was out of the way, I had to be honest with JR and tell him that I was the reason for Jemplex unlocking the heart. <laughs> okay, okay, look. JR, I told him we didn't unlock the heart. Oh. Wait, why? Me and Jemplex have some very similar morals when it comes to how the heart should be used. And I just think the locked heart is not one that should be in the possession of any player. Oh, okay. I'm just doing this for the greater good of the server. That's all. <laughs> Completely. Why are you laughing? You sound like we're enemies now. <laughs> JR, look. I don't know if I can look at you the same anymore after that. JR, I'm sorry. <laughs> JR, look, you have to, you have to believe After everything. me. everything. I mean, they put me in that group chat. I could have helped, but I said, you know what? Maybe Zai isn't all that bad. And this is what you do. Unfortunately, there wasn't much I could do to fix that relationship. And this is where I knew things were going downhill, especially with tensions rising from another player in which I manipulated into spending restless nights to build and drain an ocean out of my own laziness. He sent me a message to meet him in a building at the middle of spawn. My immediate thoughts is that I'm either going to fight with Dizzy or be trapped. So I left behind the only two hearts I cared about and prepped up for the unknown. I hope you probably know why I've organized this meeting of ours. Kinda sorta. I was thinking, you know, as rivals, it's only fair that we go a little further than brain games and indirects. Am I the only one thinking this? 
That's all you, man. You're the catalyst of all that anger. I am now Soulbound's second deadliest player, no? Uh, yeah, sure. So who's one? Well, I'd consider, I'd consider myself, yes. So you're the most deadly player on the Soulbound SMP. I'd say so. Not, maybe, maybe not through every mean, but through the means of what I've... <laughs> So you're definitely the best player. Yeah, run, Zai. That's fake, that's fake, that's fake, run. that's fake, that's fake. It was an ambush containing some of the richest players on the server. This wasn't going to be good. Prove that you're number one, Zai. Look how many there are. Look, guys, it's just one too many. There's a downside to betraying everybody you meet, Zai. I betrayed half of these people. That's besides the point. You don't have numbers anymore, Zai. I knew there wasn't much I could do in a 5v1 against stacked players with overpowered hearts. So when it started raining, I took the opportunity to try to overspawn into a bigger ocean of water that connected with the end portal because I had a plan. You wanna call it quits? No, I'm not in the overworld anymore. I made my way to the end. You can come to the end. There's there's nothing. You're right. I cannot go against the masses. I think we just have to ask ourselves, what what is there to be achieved by killing me here? You want revenge? You want to be seen as the deadliest player, Dizzy? Is that really what you want? I actually told you during the meeting exactly why. If you guys want to kill me, you guys can do so. Or I could offer you a ultimatum. If you guys get off my neck, I, I actually do just have the oceanic heart on me. I could jump in the void if you guys did not choose to accept this plead deal in which I'll have my heart. I'll be respawned at a place that you do not know. And we will continue this rivalry till the end of time. And trust me, oh, trust me. I have much more time than all of you to make this a living hell. I think there's one thing that I want that was stolen from me. And if I can get something that is at least remotely similar, I think I can be satisfied. All right, what would you like? I want your oceanic heart. Because if you're willing to throw it into the void, there are other hearts you have that I know for a fact you love more than anything else. I will give you the oceanic heart, JR, but that is going to be a replacement to the deal I just gave to Dizzy. I've said my piece. For most, it probably seems that all hope is lost. Not only had I given up the oceanic heart, but I was also forced to keep the peace between everyone in this book. But there's one thing that everyone who signed this book forgot. This is a lesson to be told. I never intended on keeping this promise. As I mentioned before, when I was entering the end, I have a plan. Lots of you probably questioned why I went into the end to give up my heart instead of just infinitely swimming away. Easiest way to explain is perfidy. A form of deception in which one side promises to act in good faith with the intention of breaking that promise once the unsuspecting enemy is exposed. And with the ball in my court, I set out to find someone who is allied with not only my enemies, but also willing to team with me, or what I'd like to call a double agent, which led me to the only person in this set of players who may be interested. Liam. Yo. Liam is one of the newer members on the server, meaning that they most likely weren't completely stuck to a single team and was most likely gaslit by Dizzy. He convinced everyone that I was the server's biggest enemy, when in reality, he was the one who got pied and wanted everyone to be in on his revenge story. So you know what? I think it's time we make his beliefs a reality. But first, I have to make sure Liam would be on my side for such an in-depth plan. I need you to keep silent if I were to tell you everything I have to tell you, right? Okay. So Liam, I have a couple ideas right i'd like you to help me and i think you're probably also the best person because you have a gas farm right <laughs> yes i do now can i ask you why do you have a gas farm <laughs> <laughs> can i ask you why do you have a gas farm liam <laughs> i'd like to actually do something wrong now i want to start a faction right and it'd be good to uh, have you on board honestly i agree i feel like we would be a really good team all right great let's go Let's go! Uh, I kind of was, was kind of thinking of a, like a little plan. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if you're entirely down for it, but 
Here's what I had in my head. The server was going to have a courthouse event in which we will be updating some of the rules on the server, and one of the rules that will be voted on is if Soulbound will go anarchy. Now, because the server is not anarchy, there are a few things that prohibit me from getting the upper hand, such as no crystals, no griefing, and no kill on sight. But if the server goes anarchy, all those rules will be lifted, meaning that as an average crystal PvPer going against players without crystals, I can likely take on multiple opponents at once. One tiny problem though. Many players could suspect me of doing something sketchy since they're already pretty suspicious of me. So instead of causing destruction on my own account, me and Liam swapped Minecraft logins, in which their account will have all the equipment to crystal PvP and mine just a normal kit. So I can go under the radar and no one will suspect anything. On top of that, I'll also be live streaming the courthouse event on this very channel to double down on my innocence. With the plan in motion, we went through the process of getting all the items we needed, like totems, crystals, and everything else in order to finalize the plan. Uh... I think we're live. The day had came and I was extremely nervous. Not only could this go insanely wrong, but I could fail in front of all of my viewers and look like a complete Dumbo idiot. So it was very important to keep my composure. Today's a big day for the Soulbound SMP, a huge day even. We're having our first court hearing uh, right here. Also, is everything good with the audio? Like, can you guys like hear me and is everything like chilling? Like, uh, for some reason I thought like I wasn't like, had no audio on my uh on my voice uh yeah so i just made the biggest f up ever i accidentally showed that i was logged into liam's account on stream meaning that anyone in the stream including any of the members could have called me out and our entire plan would have crumbled pumpkin land <laughs> go north go north yeah, 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 yeah. No one had seemed to notice, thankfully, so I was able to get away with almost ruining everything. Alright, uh, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi! Oh! oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, Let's go! Husky, you get to choose uh, heads or tails for the coin flip. Bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> the court hearing went very well, with a bunch of new changes to the server, but the anarchy vote was up last, and this would dictate the consequences of our plan. On one side, if we went anarchy, I can get revenge on my enemies and strike fear into those who betrayed me. And if we didn't go anarchy, I'd be seen as a corrupt server owner and would have to inevitably ban myself from the server for breaking breaking the rules. Everything we've worked for was entirely dependent on this vote. Okay, has everyone uh, put in their votes? Wait. Yes, so yes. Give it the result already. I'm about to lose my mind. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, in a eight Husky, to two it. vote, anarchy <laughs> will be allowed on the yes, Soulbound yes, SMP. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, watch where you're swinging, bro. Oh! oh. 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 Wait, someone oh, did have TNT, go. LMAO. It's Zy with crystals. Oh. Wow. Thank God I left about two minutes ago. Oh, no way. Why are you Bro. shot? Unfortunately, I couldn't chase down Dizzy because Liam accidentally re-logged into their account. But there were still other players to hunt. Go back. It's okay, I still have sand on this uh, island over here. Jump like how many? Lavi, no! Hey, get off my lab, Mercy, you son of a bitch! Oh, oh. oh. Lavi, pearl away if you have pearls. I don't have pearls, right? I'm the one There's no oh, way Zai oh, doesn't oh. have infinite crystals in his inventory. <laughs> hey, W Zai. W Zai. Lavi. Who's got this problem? I'm great for this shit. Hey, can we hold another vote that just says, uh, no controls? I'll be fine an ocean if you can. Nice. Oh. After eliminating one of their best PvPers using Crystal PvP, all of my enemies knew that it was a fight not worth taking on, and they all fled from spawn, leaving everything in ruins and once again putting the server in the palm of my hands. Having a teammate will only strengthen my confidence, and we won't back down from a battle, with or without crystals. The masquerade will live on. All right, here's three very, very important messages before you leave. One, subscribe to the channel so you can watch more videos. Two, join the Soulbound Public Discord so you're notified on everything Soulbound related ever. And three, use code Soulbound on Bicycle Toasting for 25% off of the most goaded servers you've ever used in your entire life. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh my God. 
Nice. Oh. Yeah, why the hell you killed the lab, Meister? I didn't do anything to you. I I'm going to smoke a J. <laughs> 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 <laughs>